Alright guys, this video is just to address um, a couple of emails that I've gotten. The person is trying to figure out what patterns I have observed for on the exam paper too. These are the patterns that I have observed. Guys, um, let me encourage you. Find your CXC syllabus for all subjects and read through your syllabus read through your syllabuses you're expected to be able to do all objectives in your syllabus you are expected to be able to manage all the objectives in your mathematics syllabus however the topics that i'm going to show here are topics that i think in my opinion and my opinion is very 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 limited um i'm just doing my observations my observations i may have skipped some and i have deliberately skipped some because um it's not my place to predict or say what i think will come however these are my opinions on some topics that never miss and never fail so we have our foundation topics come on then. so we look at our fractions or decimals or significant figures or standard forms or scientific notation rounding off percentage ratio um basic algebra so all of that that's your foundation now i won't put a mark to this but i'll just say all right, roughly five to ten marks overall on the entire paper or five to eight marks about five marks five to eight five to six between five and eight marks maximum on the paper your foundation and, and you use your foundation skills right throughout the paper all right now sequence series and patterns this is what many persons this is what the syllabus calls the investigation however most of the questions are really sequence series and patterns so if you have um workbooks that like mathematics for caribbean examination by Conrad Archer those workbooks have topics on sequence series and patterns however just to highlight a few things now many persons uh, many teachers don't may not may choose not to teach it's due because um being a teacher myself so it's difficult to complete this when I was in a class of diverse learning needs and I understand so sometimes there are topics that some teachers may put on back burner now this topic is a short 10 marks however and you can you don't have to study it for some students because they can easily deduce the patterns however i think it was 2019 don't quote me i'm not sure where the 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 pattern wasn't so obvious for students who are not of a certain reasoning level or yeah i think that's it students who don't reason at a certain level so it would it would have been better if the students were aware of what is an arithmetic progression what is a geometric progression understand what it means by the end term or the formula or the rule and be able to draw patterns and as i think it was 2019 they didn't ask to draw anything they just asked for basically algebraic manipulation which is just the end term and the formula and the rules and applying concept of either arithmetic or geometric progression so that's it is that sure 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 10 marks and it comes every year it comes every year every year that's just one question 10 marks that's it then we have our functions and coordinate geometry now functions and coordinate geometry comes under a bigger heading which is function relations and graphs and i think function relations and graphs is either 20 or 21 marks overall on your paper too but we look at that in the last slide so under function, some of the obvious ones that stick out to me that has come on most years paper, not every year, most. And it's like evaluating functions, composite functions, um, and normally they give you a mix of evaluating and put that in a composite function and equal it to some number, some terms and say find the K or find that. Yeah, they give you some solving equation concepts in the same evaluating function and composite function be able to man be able to manage that also 
undefined functions, knowing a function is undefined, inverse function. Prove, that would give you something to prove, like show that f inverse of f is equal to f inverse, um, f of f inverse. So, using concept from composite functions. Um, and the coordinate geometry, understand what it means by to find the gradient or the slope. They could say slope too. Gradient, parallel lines, understand what it means by parallel lines and gradients, perpendicular lines and gradients. You know, all those are linked. Length of a line, uh, midpoint, when you talk about a perpendicular bisector, what's the point of the da, the da, you know, so the point of the bisector will be the midpoint. So be able to pick up all of that. The midpoint, um, equation of a straight line, be able to find equation of a straight line by looking at a graph by having only the gradient and the point, by having two points on the line. Um, yes, and there are many more. Stick with your syllabus, read your syllabus. Also, be able to sketch, like if they give any, if you, if you have found the equation, be able to sketch it, to sketch the, um, the line, and you can sketch the line using by finding the x and y intercepts. Be able to find those little basic stuff. This can give you about 8 to 12 marks. The joke about functions and coordinate geometry is that it can come on both section 1 and 2 at the same time. It's just that most times they stick with the coordinate geometry part in the section 1. Most times, not limited to, and CXC can do what they want, it's their exam. Alright, so we're not trying to predict anything, I'm just trying to show some obvious trends here that I have seen. No, circuit theorem and trigonometry. Basically, this comes under geometry and trigonometry. No, it doesn't have to be a circuit theorem question. However, I think for me, I think questions that students ignore year after year, they tend to want to put that question more and more each year until they see that students are paying attention to, to the concept. I believe that they don't want any um, concept being ignored or left behind, which was the reason why they have changed it from being where you choose in section two. And you just do all questions. All right, so remember, it doesn't have to be a circuit theorem question, but it's a high possibility of a circuit theorem question coming. No. It can be a calculation for measurement and all that stuff and angles and that stuff. But most times, so what I'm seeing in the past couple of years is a circuit theorem question. How circuit theorem work? Because you know all the theorem, about eight theorems are there. Uh, be able to give the reason. It's just as easy as that. For trigonometry, be able to do your trig ratio, your Pythagoras theorem, your bearings, your sine rule, your cosine rule, angles of elevation and depression. Um, Calculate the area of a triangle using your half A, B, sine C. Um, normally, this is in section 2 and section 1. If the trigonometry is in section 1, most times, from my observation, my limited observation, they will stick to like trig ratio and Pythagoras theorem. And if the trigonometry is in section 2 mainly, they'll focus on like bearings and sine rule and cosine rule and, and probably angles of elevation and depression can be in both sections and um, they look at like area of a triangle and that can also be in both sections uh, but that's not significant as I'm saying normally you got some of the concepts that stand out and this, 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 this is that short 12 marks for your circuit theorem and your trigonometry last but least we have our vectors and matrices that's the last question on every exam paper since I have, if I look at exam paper from 1989, um, Vickers and Matrices is the last question. That's the last question. And what they look at vectors, vector algebra. So be able to add your vectors, um, multiply a vector by a scalar and add them. Your vector geometry, where you look at, they like you have your diagram and you draw, you apply the rules of your triangle law your, and your parallelogram law to calculate to, <laughs> to calculate my mind to calculate uh, if they ask you to find the vector pm given uh, given that they give you pb plus bm something like that along the line 
also be able to find the magnitude of your of your position and your displacement vector be able to tell why a vector is parallel equal collinear um matrices add, add and subtract matrices multiply your matrices find the determinant of a two by two matrix a joint of an a joint the inverse of a two by two matrix solving simultaneous equation um proof to get the identity matrix transformation matrices and this is a short 12 marks let's look at the full breakdown for paper two is on this side um the highest marks the topics that range with the highest marks would be relation functions and graph but these, these have a lot of subtopics in between so go ahead and get knowing all the subtopics in between yeah, investigating just the flat sequence series and pattern flat um, your geometry, your trigonometry now. Now you see that trigonometry is a must. So you must know your trig, your trig, trig, trig. So the trig part prediction would have been fair. The geometry though, it can range from circle theorem to looking at angles. And so now you're thinking about corresponding angles and all of your triangles and your shapes and all of that with angles. If you have um, volume 1 and 2 by uh, mathematics a complete course volume 1 and 2 there's a whole section by Raymond Tulsi on all this geometry and trigonometry and uh, that's it and you see vectors and matrices is just vectors and matrices so if you just zoom in vectors and matrices must come these are straightforward these are no these um vectors and matrices don't have any much sub sub topic that's just what it is so Better than me to see investigation. That's a 22 mark. That you and you are able to get 22 marks. Once you put in the work, you are able to get the full 22 marks. The, the paper is not above you. I think what happens to many students they underestimate themselves, underestimate their abilities, and and that throws you off from doing well. So look into that. Look at my suggestions and which other topic you think that normally comes our subtopic that comes very often that i did not explore leave that in your comment remember guys the end and the focus is to study everything study everything study everything all right that's it leave your comments in the comment section study everything Thanks for watching.